Sorry. Um, I was just defending myself. Sorry, guys, about that. Um, I accidentally ended the the broadcast instead of ending the party that I was in. So sorry, guys. So. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! Come on! Where are you? Said I got 75% of it completed. So I'm a deviant. A reconstruct. All right, we're on to this mission, guys. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Hey, sorry, person. Um, I accidentally ended the stream instead of um, any of the leave the party I was in. I'm really sorry about that. I'm so sorry. Much. Thank you guys for joining back. I am so sorry. Hey, what's up, Sauce? I, I, I'm Sauce. Really. Don't say I did what I could. That's good. You know what? I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, guys, for ending the stream. That was totally my fault. My accident. Sorry, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I, I restarted the stream on accident. It was really a bad idea, but, you know. Oi! I flipped out because I thought there was going to be a jump scare, and I ain't dealing with no jump scare deviant robot over here. No, not today, honey. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? Hold up, one second, what up? Shut up! Go out and hire a fucking android. Joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They never tired. They never sad. No, it's not like that. They're so fucking perfect. They ruin my fucking life. Stop moving around, for Christ's sake! You're making me nervous. What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. <gasps> Get back here. Come back here. Come no. back here right now. I'll lock this dude out if he touches. How oh, dare he touch her? Yes! Stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. Oh, 
Oh, my self-aware stuff that I have to do. Ugh. Now I'm free. See the red spot? It's where I break those kind of things. And yeah, I'm protecting Alice against this psychopath. No, I'm protecting Alice. I want to save all like the young kids in this because I would like the I want to do that and then I'm gonna do like a different way. What's this extra stuff? Oh, I didn't have to break programming and stuff could happen different. Okay, I become a deviant. I go upstairs and I get to Alice before Todd does. I run away and I hide in the. Oh, so if I ha ha hid in Todd's room, then we could have been caught. Try front door, which wasn't the right reason. Open the front door, which was good. Run to the bus and catch bus and Kara and Alice. So we could have not caught the bus and we could have just ran, which would have caused a different ending to happen to go all the way up to here and cause a spiral of different things to happen. Oh my gosh. Well dang. <laughs> yeah. Okay guys. Okay, so I think <laughs> I can't believe I ended the stream and I'll you know what, just because I ended it, I'll play one last mission. I don't know that I said that like two missions ago. But I'm gonna play this as my last mission, I swear. Even though I really want to play cars, because cars mission is more interesting. But you know. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement. I care about art. This I have a bunch of art made me thirsty. What do you say? I don't know what you said, but I'm not gonna go in that door. I'm gonna go through these two doors. Scotch, neat as usual. Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Uh -huh. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Uh-oh. Fighting Call thing! The police. This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. I'm taking him with me. Oh, I don't feel safe alone. It's probably, it's probably his son. Most likely it's 100% his son. Yep, told ya! Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Yep. Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special Ooh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! No. I must decide for myself. God, you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. And it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And nobody's gonna give a shit anymore. Because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. Carl, no. Hey, please don't go. Don't oh, leave. Sorry. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Oh please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. Who's the android? Bro, I'm quitting me. That makes me mad. I shouldn't have broke through that stupid barrier. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? I know, I probably could have done the mission once I'm surviving, but now...
No! Eh, no mad happened. Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go in there, gonna have to talk to him. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine, we'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Suspect? No, he didn't kill her. Come on. Take forever. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Too low. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? Yeah. Listen. I know you've been through a lot. But you need to help me understand what happened. Because we need to do. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they going to do to me? just want to understand. They know your master abused you. It wasn't your fault. Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I can't. Twenty-eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy. But you stabbed him again and again and again. Oh, please, please leave me alone. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Oh, please, 
Please stop. Just say I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Just say you killed him. Just say it. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I... grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again. And again. Until he collapsed. RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Oh, hello. You know, I don't really like that, you know? The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA-9. Only RA-9 can save us. Who's RA-9, though? I know, like, it's... RA-9. Who is RA-9? Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. Actually, you're metal, but you also look like I had to a bit of human. To so. tell him he was wrong. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away. I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. Oh, okay. I was scared. Yep, 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 yep. So I hid. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. It wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. I'm done. Talk to him at all anymore. Okay, that was intense. What the fuck is it it's doing? destroying itself?
died. Bro, why do I keep on dying with this character? <gasps> ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, I had to die. Boy. That makes me angry that I had to die the fourth time with this person. This makes me so angry. <laughs> Why do I always have to die with this character? Like, come on, that's the second time. That's the second mission I done with that. Oh, I guess we're on Kara's mission. Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. messed up guys like it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine Kaylin this game is so messed up guys we'll find somewhere to spend the night god this such is a messed up story blah oh this poor little girl oh my gosh am I doing something that's happened to me oh, come on Alice we've got to hurry yeah I'm fine her because I remember what happened. I don't I know what happened to me down here. Come on, man. Very What should we do, guys? Should we do it comfortable but not discreet, or no? Let's do it for this little girl. I want to do this for this. Uh, I want her to be comfortable. Even though if we're not discreet, we have to be comfortable. I need to make this girl happy. We're not going in? We have to find $40 and get rid of this uniform or go somewhere else. Oh, no, 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 get over here, little girl. Where'd the little girl go? Thank the Lord. <laughs>
It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. I gotta find clothes. Clothes around here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm feeling. Oh, I'm taking all of it. You could just stay the night here, obviously. Okay, now it's time to read. I thought I had money in it or something. I have to search somewhere for money. We gotta find something. We have to find something. Money, 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 money. Does this dude have any money on him? Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it. Guess we're gonna have to leave. They must stay by me. I'm not even lying with you. This little girl is. to find somewhere where no androids are allowed first of all second of all look at that bus right there Find money, guys. Where can I find money? How do I get 40 bucks? That's like the hardest point right now. We have to do something because it's 40 dollars, man. I guess we're gonna go towards here. Where's the little girl? Where is the little girl, guys? You don't run off like that! Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. 
You look lost. We have nowhere to go. Can I have 40 bucks? I know someone who can help you. Please don't touch me. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Door is still open. Maybe we should go inside. It's At least we'll be out of the cold. Can I help you? I'm with a little girl and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Look, this is a convenience store, lady, not the Salvation Army. I can't start handing out cash to every bum in the neighborhood. I know what I'm gonna do. You all right? Are you hurt? Well, don't worry. It's just a few cans. Come on, let's go. We have some cash now. You used me to steal that money. How could you do that? I trusted you. You're right. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry, Alice. I'll never do it again. A room. That'll be forty dollars up front. Just need your name and address. Can I see your driver's license? I left it in the car. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow.
Have a good night. Good night. Let's go and listen. Do you think he believed you? I don't know, Ellis. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. See what it's, I like this. You should make more, more and often. Make this a video. Yeah, yeah, I will. I will. I definitely will. Thanks. Here, give me your coat. I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry. Maybe we could put some makeup to the cover up that little you think? Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. No. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Oh, God, that's sad. Why couldn't we just be happy? I don't know. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. Pro I gotta promise this. I promise you. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. Let's do it! I'm not going rogue on this girl. Cry. Yep, I see that tear in my eye.
you just three endings to that. Let me see what this is. Well, hala, hala, hala. So I could have done something. very amplifying. I read it, that was such an extra mission. Okay, that was really good for I guess I really like that. Okay, so we are going to leave it up on that one. I... Whoa. Oh god. How GD? I'm not even put. I, GD is going awful, Seth. It's absolutely going awful. Are you kidding me?
jump scary like that game. I can barely see anything because of the red heart, okay? Oh god, a room full of nice That is not even close to good. That's just a room full of nice like what are you trying to do this? I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do? My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact me here to provide the right data. This is so I can hear.
that's not good. You smile, I swear. came back so no matter what I did it would have came out with this outcome okay okay hey I guess I did pretty good again okay I'm back from the dead again Somehow I'm back again. I've this is the third time I've been resurrected, so yeah. I'm gonna, hold up, hold up, look at my feet. Hold up. Hala 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 hold up. Did you see that guys? Did you see my feet? Why am I in a land of dove dove lovey dove? Yes, I quite frankly don't really like it, because it's kind of creeping me out. Like, that just scared me really badly. Just from talking to this woman. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. It knew deviants could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It will be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Traumatized. Traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? He's obviously not what I was expecting. But I don't have enough information yet to form a definitive opinion. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will focus on the investigation and try to ignore him. As long as he doesn't interfere and we avoid conflict, he shouldn't be a problem. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Well, I know what's happening. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Hurry, Connor. There's little time.
Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. He might be in shock. Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level. A Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have been Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to either side. The Minister for Defense, Dennis Riggs, has spoken on a provocation that cannot go Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. You and you, come with me. Uh, I sit down and stand. Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed, but Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. Hey. Hank! In my office! Lab report says they cut it with something. Not explain the office because I actually want to hear what's going on. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. But I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. 
You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. <laughs> Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey, I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So get the fuck out of my office. Have a nice day, Captain. I understand the destruction of my predecessor may have been unpleasant for you, Lieutenant. I'll do everything I can to make sure it doesn't happen again. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. These controls are killing me. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah, there is one. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's <laughs> full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? <laughs> well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. <laughs> bring up the dog. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? I like dogs. What's it to you? Information. Sumo. I call him Sumo. He died, I think. I think. And what's it at? You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Dang. Denton well, Carter scored 53% like of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. We really need the forensics. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. That's why I look my hands frozen. Disappearance.
attack. Wait, so this is disappearance and this is attack. So suspect. Hey, hold up. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. We're actually gonna order it here. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them, and- Hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Ah, leave me alone. Uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information <laughs> on the AX400. That attacked the guy. I know, right? Right? He's rude. That attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Hank got a lead? Real. Okay, we are now going to get off because I know I'm going to stay in here for another hour. So, um, is that what I do as I go to the main menu? I hope so because, uh, I am so bad. I hope you guys enjoyed. I just, uh, streams and I'll be streaming tomorrow. Probably today because I actually am pretty interested in this, this game. I might even get on like 30 minutes and play this because I'm really tired. I need to take a nap. But I will see you guys in the next stream or video. Most likely stream. Yeah. 99.9% .9 stream. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. And I really don't want to press this button. But we'll do it. And thank you so much, guys. And peace. Have a great day slash night.